Hi guys, welcome to today's 100 Days of Making Comics vlog. Hi guys, I know it's been a long time. I can't remember where I left off my vlogs for the uh, 100 Day of Making Comics challenge. So I actually feel up to going back to it now, which is awesome. So I hope you will continue to join me. <laughs> so probably editing me, we'll see where I laugh last. last blah, 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 blah. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> um, probably editing me, we'll probably see where I last left off. So I'm gonna pick it up from there. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been pretty busy. I'm excited to go back to working on this. Um, I think I left off with spells. Which I'm gonna continue making some new spells and then I'm gonna do finish off uh, my last character description. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys what I've been up to. So give me a sec to turn the camera around. This is what I've sort of been up to lately. Um, to sort of up my ante on the um, on the story, I've decided to sort of pick up Welsh. I, I did a long time ago, but you know, back when I was in my early 20s, there wasn't really any books out on it, and you sort of, you had to le learn through poetry, which was, that was really hard, so I found a really good couple of language apps, and this one's called Duolingo, and I have been uh, trying to learn Welsh through this, and it's a pretty good app, actually. Um, it's, you can clearly hear how words are pronounced, um, and sentence structure, and names of items and stuff like that. It would be nice if they went more detailed into the, um, sentence structure and verbs and stuff like that, but this was definitely going to help in creating spells and, um, the language of the school and just help me feel a bit bit more connected to my characters. So I would highly recommend this app if you want to. They have a whole bunch of other different languages too. Um, I think I'm also I'm taking up Japanese on this as well. And I have started a Welsh club so for Canadians. So if you want to come and learn Welsh with me, you can come on this app and join me there. And if you do, I look forward to seeing you there. So, yeah. And what else I'm up to? Let's see, I'm gonna make you guys dizzy, aren't I? Yes, I am. <laughs> As you guys know, I've been working on this, but I don't think I'm gonna make it for Inktober at all. Um, which I'm kind of disappointed, but there was just so much going on. So, but using the um, ballpoint pen has actually been kind of interesting because I want to take up something called Metal Point which is very difficult because you're drawing with uh, a piece of metal instead of a uh, pencil lead and you cannot erase any mistakes because, well, it's metal. So the ballpoint pen has been really good practice for that and yeah, I'm loving how this is turning out. So it's really cool. And get on with my day here. All right, so I got plenty of spells written out, so I don't know, I spent maybe like an hour or two hours on that, so I got, oops, blank page, I got a fair amount written out, so I am going to go out now, and I'm going to head over to the library, and there's a couple of um, Welsh books I want to pick up that will help me further along with these spells. And if you noticed in the previous clip, if I included it, I don't know if I did, but um, I made a neater copy from the rough ones I wrote out in here. And um, so this way, they're all in one place. They're all in this little green notebook here, along with the written character descriptions. And so I can find everything to my story in here, which is going to be really helpful, so I won't have to go looking around in different places for it. So. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now, and I'm gonna take this along with me. I don't know how comfortable I feel vlogging in public just yet, but if I manage to record something, I'll hopefully insert it in. So, see you soon!
morning guys. Well, it's not really morning now, but <laughs> I was up really, really late last night. Um, I guess till about two, and I was sketching this. This is not for the comic. I'm going to be working on that a little bit later. This is actually something for the Art Addicts Alliance, which will be coming up in November, and so I wanted to get started on some rough sketches now. So yeah, I was up doing this. I really like how it came out, so I'm going to be doing a sort of um, 1950s pinup thing. And I have to draw her face, so there's a few things I have to fix. Like her, her eye, her right eye there, as you can see, is a little, it is a little wonky. Oops, sorry, my fingers. So her right eye there is a li little bit wonky, so I need to fix that. And a few other things I have to clean up, so I am going to be doing um, a cleaner sketch of this. So I'll put uh, another piece of tracing paper on top of this and make some cleaner lines and pick my lines out and then I'll transfer it to uh, good paper and go from there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in pencil or pen or in color so I have to do some color swatches and decide on that as I, um, after I do the cleaner line work sketch for this. And I'm going to be filming this um, uh, tonight. And, um, I don't think I'm gonna make it for Inktober actually because it's like the end of October and I haven't done anything at all this year. <laughs> it's just been, I don't know, I I really failed on it this year and I'm kind of really disappointed that I didn't get, uh, get to it. But hopefully next year things will be a bit more even and smooth and I will actually <laughs> be able to do something for Inktober, which would be great. Um, yeah, so I'm about to start my day. I just got out of the shower and it is seen as my fake fire. Sorry for my messy, messy place here, but it is really kind of icky and cloudy and icky outside, so it's not so great. <laughs> and oh yeah, that over there, I'm sorry, things are so wobbly. Um, is where I do most of my filming, so I'll set up the camera and uh, I'll show you guys uh, a filming session when I get to it. So all I have left for today is, um, let's see what do I have to work on? Oh yeah, I have to work on the description for my last character, which is the teacher character, and um, I have to work out that description. I have to get some rough sketches done of character design for that. And yeah, just it's more planning. I'm more in the planning phase. So there'll be more writing. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to get to some artwork for it. So yeah. See you guys shortly. Hey, good evening guys. Oh my goodness. So it's like uh 12.30 and I got a lot of stuff done. Um, I'll show you what I did for my story in the morning. But I worked on some things for that. But right now um, I have just finished uh, a cleaner copy of the sketch I showed you guys earlier today. Um, so the lines are much cleaner. I think I've, I fixed her eye quite well so it looks much better. <laughs> it looks much more even and a bit wonky so it's good, so when I um, go to create my cleaner lines uh, on the good paper, um, I won't have to pick my lines from the, the messier sketch I showed you earlier. So this is going to be good. I'm really excited about this. I might do it in, in pencil because, you know, I love my pencils. So I'll probably just keep it at that and maybe just add a hint of of vintage color. So I'm going to take a look through my mom's old 1950s comics and maybe pick out a few colors from there to give her a, a nice vintage vintage look. So it's been a nice, a really nice evening. Um, I've been watching the Secret of Kells. So that was, that was a lot of fun. 
I love this movie. It is so beautiful. The animation is absolutely gorgeous in it. And if you have seen um, Song of the Sea, it's by the same animation group. And it's just as beautiful. <laughs> as you can hear, my mom, my mom, sorry mom, sorry mom, I'm doing this. But yeah, my mom is sleeping beside me. Um, because it's quite late, but uh, I love this. I watched this twice in a row. <laughs> it's just like I'm, I'm just like a little toddler sometimes. I just love it. I love this. It's beautiful. If you haven't seen this, see it. It's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous movie. So yeah, and I'm totally happy with this. And I think I told you guys. Yeah, I'll show you guys in the morning when I have better light. Uh, what I did, so I worked out a name for the last character, which is the teacher character. I worked out a name, and I'll explain that a bit more later on. Um, it's totally cool. <laughs> took me a while to come up with and work it out, but it's gonna be great. And um, all I have to do is. I worked out a few rough designs of the teacher character. So yeah, I hope you guys like this sketch. I love it. The hands are still a bit wonky too. So I'm gonna work those out a bit more, but so far they look okay. And I can't wait to share what I did today with you guys in the morning. So yeah, good night for now. Good morning. Good morning, it's fun to stay out late. Good morning to you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and I can't sing, <laughs> so I should just stop right now before it gets even worse. <laughs> that is a beautiful fall day, as you can see. Um, I know it's not quite morning. Um, I started off really, really grumpy and cranky, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So I waited to uh, pick up the camera because no one needs to see me really bitchy. <laughs> so, did you even say bitchy on YouTube? Would this get taken down? I don't know, but I said it, it's too late. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys the beautiful day. Um, since it's so nice out and not icky, I am going to head out. There's a couple of errands I need to run first. And uh, I hope you all had a glorious weekend. This is, what day is this? Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll take you guys with me out. And I see a couple I am vlogging outside. Um, yeah, and as I promised last night, I'm going to show you guys um, what I worked on my character last night. Okay? Okay, so this is my last character design. This is for the teacher. Um, the name is actually an anagram of something, and I don't know if any of you guys can guess what the anagram is. Maybe I'll give you something special. <laughs> so let me know if you can guess. I'll just leave your, your comments and see. Let's see if any of you can guess what the anagram is for this character's name. So it's the professor, and um, I couldn't decide whether to make them male or female, so I'm just going to draw them sort of androgynous and leave it at that until I figure it out. Um, so these are their basic specs here. I still have to write the background information and some uh, character traits and I'll be doing that later on and hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> I've written some few basic things so far for this character and I just sort of have to work out the kinks. So. Yeah, that's what I've done so far. I have to now sort of do some rough sketches for their designs and oh I'm sorry for my dirty nails, that looks totally gross. Um yeah, and I'll show you some more stuff, but I'm gonna take you guys with me and hopefully there'll be something interesting. Hooray! I'll see you guys in a bit. <sighs> yeah. Just got back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I left at eleven and it's now six. Six o'clock. Oh my goodness! All oh, day. I meant to to film um, when I was out in the stores. That 
it was just such a crazy choppy day I didn't remember to pull out my camera and film and vlog as I was out so yeah I was sorry about that but I did manage to find season two of Hoarders which was awesome um, I love that show it's, it's really fascinating and interesting to to watch the reasons why people fall into hoarding in the first place and what gets them into it and hopefully that you know sometimes they get out of it and it's really it's really cool and oh my goodness <laughs> we were in um, London Drugs and it was awesome because they had um, they had the Christmas chocolates already out and it's just like wow <laughs> I kind of went nuts by all these, these, um, there's these type of German, um, gingerbread cookies that they have. They're really soft and they have, like, this chocolate glaze on the bottom of it. And they're really, really good. <laughs> we bought so many packages of those to, um, squirrel away for later. And, uh, hopefully... By having them out of sight, they'll be out of mind, and I'm not going to be tempted to sit down and open the damn package and eat it. <laughs> it's horrible. It's actually horrible. Such a, I'm such a, a cookie monster for that that sort of thing. And um, yeah, it was it was crazy. And um, I managed to pick up like a makeup sponge and stuff, and everything was was good until you know. We ran into a little bit of an altercation with a woman who brought her dog into the mall and it wasn't a service dog, it's just a regular dog. She did not want to tie it up outside and my, my mom is very afraid of dogs because she's been attacked so many times and just like a dog should not be in a mall and so that was a horrible experience and um, at least it didn't turn into an altercation, but um, really, seriously, if if you have a dog, leave it outside of the mall unless it's a service dog. I mean, that's just how I feel about it and whatnot. But yeah, I want to share this beautiful sunset with you guys. It is so pretty because I face the south here and it gets super, super pretty. Uh, around the winter season because we actually see the sun setting um, usually it's more to the east in the summer but um, yeah this is it's gorgeous isn't it gorgeous I love it you know how many pictures I have of the view back here it's pretty pathetic <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful and it's such a beautiful day so I'm gonna rest up have some coffee and then I'll probably head out to the library to do some more uh, writing work for the character I was telling you guys about earlier and I am going to film this evening so hopefully editing me will remember to put in some footage of that <laughs>
here I have some designs of the inner courtyard for the school. Um, this I'm not too sure. I'm gonna go through a few more designs. So this I wanted to sort of make like the entrance and make it look like a really grand castle and everything. So this is just design one. So I'm gonna I might do another one, but so far hmm, we'll see how it goes. I have to. I have to design the whole school layout first. I don't know why I did this first, but yeah, this is first. So I might go from here, see how things go. What do you guys think? This is all right looking? It's really, really detailed and ornate. There's this book I have. Um, uh, and it's just like, it's like a fantasy um, Islamic city and it's such a pretty book. And it was really inspiring the architecture that was inside of it. So I sort of wanted to have a mix of a Welsh castle and what I saw from that book together. So let's see where it goes from there. So I'll try another design, see how that looks. Maybe make it look a bit more evil, medieval looking. But so far, that's that. I'll smooth that over there. Have a little. Is this a map? Oh, this is one of the villages. This is for a different story that I've been working on throughout the years. But the gray girl is connected to it. It's kind of wrinkly, but um, this is one of the little villages inside of it. You see, I've done some spec work. This is for another fantasy series. Uh, you can see the character design, Sandy, which I've called. Uh, birthday girl on my Deviant Art page and on my Instagram as well if you scroll down for a little bit. And yeah. So the school that you see in the Grey Girl, the one I'm working on currently, and this one which I've been working on for a number of years, they are connected. So <laughs> I can't wait to start working on this one again too. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so those two, the two schools are going to be connected. So this is more like a dream world, and then it also has a school in the real world. If that makes any sense. So these, these plants here are actually giant poppy trees. So you can see how, how big they are there. <laughs> is just a map. I have renamed many many things in it so <laughs> I have to revise this map. So this is for my other fantasy story that I'm working on which I will share with you guys a little later once I get my gray girl one going. And I have some character designs. Ugh, these are just some rough sketches here. You guys will probably recognize that guy. <laughs> so here we have one of my characters, Nyx, which you can see his finished one uh, on, again on my Instagram and again on my DeviantArt page. And there's a little bit of a bio on Nyx here, but he's, he's my favorite character out of all of them. Uh, and this is Seth. Again, this is not for the Grey Girl, but for another fantasy series I've been working on for many, many years. I know I've said that several times. I'm sorry, I'm irritating. <laughs> but yes, Seth is one of my oldest characters. He goes back to 2002? 2002? 2001, 2002. So I've had him for a long time, and I love him to bits. And I'm so glad to include him in... My next fantasy story, which I can't wait to get to, and he is actually, he is, like, like Aliel, he is deaf as well, so he can't hear. And hey, how beautiful! So he's gone through several redesigns, but I love this one. So, ooh. And another one of my character designs. So this is Alcyon. She is actually, um, this is her human form, but she's actually a blue herring. And she keys into this other fantasy story very, very heavily. So 
how I'm going to link the gray girl to this one. I'm still working out the details on that, but I sort of want to have Ginny and Aliel as sort of relatives to, um, or somehow connected, maybe not relatives, but yeah, yeah, relatives, but connected somehow to my main character in this other fantasy series. And I'm going to work out the kinks on that so I can connect the, t the two together. Yeah, she was fun to do, all feathers and... So these are her hands. Her hands are actually look like wings and stuff. Yeah. I think that it. Oh yeah, this is another one of my characters for that. And I want to redo him. Um, this is Nemo. <laughs> And uh, he's named after a very specific character, not the fish from Finding Nemo, a different Nemo, and not Captain Nemo either from 20,000 Leagues. This is a different Nemo. If you know who I'm talking about, you'll get it. Um, but I want to fix his hair because it's, I do have a colored one of this, but it's old and it's super floofy and I want to fix it out and smooth it out so it's, it's not so poofy. You guys can also see a finished version of this. I've had this around a long time. She's one of my favorites. So this is the Gilded Lady, another one that features heavily in this other fantasy series that's going to connect to the Grey Girl. And yeah. And my main character again. You can see. I'm thinking of changing her name. I know, but so far it's Sandy. And you can see her finished on my Instagram and on my Deviant Art page. And she is the main character to this other fantasy series, which I am excited about for a long time because it's taken me a long time to work this out. <laughs> Voldemort-like character. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep his name secret, so... <laughs> um, I will reveal that to you guys later. <laughs> but yes, he is my main villain. And, you know, he looks like a child, but he is not a child at all. He is much, much older than that. This is very deceptive. So... I'm so glad I could share these characters with you for this other one because once I'm done with the gray girl I'm gonna be working back on this and I will do another comic challenge for that to get me going on that so yeah I hope you like these characters I know I don't have anything for the gray girl yet I'm still working out the character descriptions for that one and I will share that with you in the next vlog alrighty alrighty well guys, that's it for this week's um, vlog challenge and um, I hope I managed manage to include everything I possibly could and that this won't run too long, <laughs> it'll be too boring. Um, I'm going to try and include a lot more stuff for you next week. Um, so far this has been fun, I'm getting, I'm getting used to this, it doesn't feel as awkward, sort of talking into this thing, you know, and um, I hope I can be more brave and, you know, take my tablet out in public and be able to do this in public and hopefully I'll have some interesting places to go to and I really do hope that you guys are enjoying this so far, but yeah, it's, it's taken a while, but I, I am sort of warming up to it and it's actually going to be quite interesting <laughs> to, to share what I do you guys every once in a while so yeah um, I'm glad I started this because it's it's really keeping me going on some things instead of just sort of you know loafing around you know <laughs> not really doing much um, but yeah I'm gonna close off here and again 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching this and spending your time with me this week. And I hope you look forward to next week, which I'm not sure if there'll be a vlog next week because the Art Axe Alliance is coming up and I have to film for that. So you might see an art video and then in the following week, uh, there'll probably be another vlog and I'll, I'll decide on that. And yeah, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and spending your time with me today. And I will see you next time. Bye.